Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments with me, Merging Timelines. Today I'm going to do or receive our message for Cancer, Sun and Moon, Cancer, Sun and Moon signs. If you enjoy my style of reading today, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please, um, if you have a good title for this video, leave it in the comment box below. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. We're getting off to a very quick start in your reading, Cancer, Cancer, Sun, and Moon signs. So right now, flying first out the deck, there's like this independent woman in your environment. Um, she's very free-spirited. She possibly has put you in a position to feel as though you can free yourself as well. So I feel like there's a sense of partnership here, but it's a silent partnership. There's a partnership where someone is seeing the potential in another person in a very playful way, in a very... Um, I feel like this is a kind of way where, like say you have a life-size doll, and this person is your life-size doll. Mm -hmm. And so every sense of potential that you thought you had, you put into this doll, if you will. Right? So who knows who and what the doll is to you, Cancer. But that message is the first one that comes out for my sun and moon. This is for the April 2023. Let's get into some more of this spread for you, Cancer. <clears throat> cancer april 2023 we're discussing a woman's independence right possibly feeling like neo you know um in her presence whether this is you or her you know there is this energy all around you eight of wands and i feel it do you there's so much passion that you have connected to this person or this person has connected to you. I feel like it propels and kind of winds your heart. I kind of see this, um, you know, one of those uh, music. Remember when we used to have these sweet little musical things that we would wind up, guys? Um, help me out if you know what I'm talking about, but they used to unwind them and the music would play. I feel this when, I, um, when I'm looking at these two cards here and it's a blindfold. So it's like, the yet, the, I mean, the best has yet to come within this direction that you feel very passionate about. Um, you or them or blindfolded, I kind of feel like it's them. I feel like they feel as though um, there's a surprise or maybe their emotions are telling them, oh, oh, what's the surprise? You know, <laughs> I don't know why I had to say it like that, but that's exactly how I feel it. I feel as though this person is, um, <clears throat> their emotions are getting the best of them at times, but they're still continuing to move blindfoldedly. Like she, she's blindfolded, she's in black, she's got the black lipstick on, she's, um, this woman's been through the ringer, she's kind of risky herself, she feels as though there's something fun about um, being in this position. At, at times she may look towards the past though, and that may cause her to feel blind. You know, if you're looking in the past and you're feeling at the same time, because I feel like you and her feel the same passion, you and, and if this is you, I feel like you feel passion, but sometimes when you look towards the past, you're keeping yourself in that direction and then they fight with their emotions. Wow. So what I see here is like a masculine person, um, they're focused on and their thoughts, right? But when their thoughts drift in a direction away from this passion, then this woman tends to get haunted. I'm not sure if it's her feelings or their feelings that she's haunted by, but I do see it in the background here. Okay, Cancer, Sun, and Moon, thank you so much for enjoying this spread with me. I do really love um, channeling them for you guys. I really love this. It's, it's very fun. All right, so we're talking about her indecision because of the past. 
Does it make you feel a little indecisive? Possibly. Does it make her feel a little bit indecisive? Possibly. There's still something that needs to be transformed when it comes to the past and current status. Like her past has to be transformed. Like some version of her has to um, let go of the past. Now, possibly doing it by herself, there's that because all I see is a woman here who's been walking blindfolded for a long time and she's got fears about partnership. She has fears about letting go and transforming. She has fears about ascending to the next level within her spiritual growth because she knows it involves some sort of partnership. There's a person here who's been independent for such a long time. Cancer, cancer. All right. I like this spread for you. It's very, very focused. It's, it seems to be that this person has created balance for themselves. Um, is there insecurity in connecting? Very much so. Very much so. And I feel like that's when she shows her insecurities, you or the person that you're connecting with. There's the three of wands in the reverse and the overall energy, I feel, to stay put. So maybe you or they do, they feel secure with where they are. They're a little bit comfortable and it makes them feel as though they avoid anybody else's um, um, insecurities, right? Because they have reached, they remember a time when they were insecure and that's their advice to just feel through that process and with that sensitivity, that level of sensitivity, they are being asked to stay put and avoid conflicts at this time. So five, six, seven, eight, we have eight of the wands and now we're reaching the balance here that we're seeing in our heart space. So you have balance here, eight wands is the overall energy. Eight of Wands is your overall energy in the reverse. Eight of Wands in your heart space. I feel like you are very balanced with the Justice card here, Cancer. You feel as though that you've weighed the scales or you're watching someone weigh their own scales and there's something comforting about that. There's something very comforting about seeing someone um, take accountability for the amount of karmic debt that they um, accumulated. To me, Cancer, this says to me that a person has literally stepped out to weigh their own um, value, their, their own spiritual value. And you admire this about them or they admire this about you. Please keep in mind that the roles can always be reversed. But I do see a very prominent woman in your environment space if this is not you. I see that she could be um, reaping the uh, benefits of a balance. Something that has been found to be very balanced and in her right, in her um, time two of swords here but she still has a hard time letting go again because of the reluctancy in evolving in partnership let me see the spirit animal message for this reading i'm very curious to see what spirit animal message we'll get for this because it was a very quick reading and we're only eight minutes in i'm super blind so i try to squint to see it sometimes i don't you have the lamb the crocodile and the octopus so much going on like the, i feel like this one spread had so many different messages in it but i'm gonna go back over it one more time after i get a little bit more out of this spirit message because i don't want to confuse anyone and i feel as though i could be confused at this point maybe you're confused or maybe you're just you're thinking for someone else. So if you're thinking for someone else, don't do that. Just follow your passion because I feel you're very passionate about connecting with this person. They're still going to transform right before your eyes. There's something about them that's going to change in order to broaden their horizons, in order to see the expansion that you see in some ways. Oh God, this... This is like a twin flame reading, the, the swan here. So there's someone here who's created balance for themselves. They're very passionate and just as defensive about what it is that they want for themselves, their life. 
Let's see the swan card. So this is water energy. Cancer, this is right up your alley. So maybe you are also feeling very passionate and um, comfortable in this connection. Effortless creativity. You're a sensitive mystic. You have elegant power, Cancer. The swan is, by the way, my favorite bird, and it's also my favorite card in this deck. Um, so effortless creativity, you're a sensitive mystic and elegant power. The swan represents heightened creativity. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Swartzi, the embodiment of language, creativity, and artistry, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. This potent energy, healing energy, is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. When the card, when the swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention, for solo time. An inner voice is waiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to be revealed. So you may be seeing something, something about their infinite creative power is sparking and also showing you about your own, in, your own infinite creative power. And you're doing a lot of solo time lately. You haven't been engaging because I see two people here, although the, they're not really like what they're not showing is another person. There's someone behind the passion here, but the passion is connected to someone who's very grounded, very stable, very consistent, and very abundant in their own right. Um, this, is, this is weighing a scale of balance. I feel like the two will start to merge because we have the swan here. I feel like once you become, um, once you spend more of your time writing, whether this is in union or out of union, I think that it will start to allow the two to blend as one. Again, I do see twin flame energy in this reading, or I'm not seeing it, I'm feeling it. So you'll just have to take my word for it if you're into that journey and you resonate with this reading. Um, I'm very happy I could hold space for you. So the two of swords and the strength for the highest timeline. So uh, this person that you're connecting to is gonna be very, very insecure. <laughs> Very, very insecure about making decisions when it comes to partnering, right? They're not going to make the first move. And so you're going to guide them in the first move. And then they're going to follow, follow you with feeling and not with their eyes. So remind this person, if it's you or them, that you are feeling through things. You are not using your eyes. It is time for us to be spiritual adults. <laughs> it is time for us to really know who we are. It is time for us to really assume our position. And as a cancer and the ability for, for, to feel for others, I think that you can encourage this person to feel where you are taking them before they see it, right? Whatever that means, that message is very specific to someone. But let's see here. Cancer, sun and moon. You have the mother of earth. It's so fitting for you, Cancer. I know that you're not earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You could be connecting to a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You could, um, let's see, have a mother that's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some sort of nurturer in your life that is within this constellation. If not, this could be you, Cancer, because you are very the mother of earth. I see you as the mother of earth. You're also the fourth house. You represent home and family, right? Um, it says you are called upon to help with environmentalism. So make sure that you are being very tidy at this time. You want to know that what the universe wants to see how you take care of things outside of you because how you're taking care of the things outside of you is a representation of how you take care of your home and things inside of you your temple and your own home right it is just a mere description of how you take care of those things cancer please take note of that how you treat other things i know i've um i know I'm not even going to say anything like that. Um, uh, an example would be like throwing things outside of the window, 
okay? <laughs> I said it, I went there. So please make sure you are being very, very careful about what you're putting out because you are going to be weighing your own individual scales here, Cancer. <laughs> you're very, very passionate though and I want things to go in your way. So please don't allow yourself to slide in this insecurity realm very quickly with this person. Um, guide them. The more that you guide them out of it, the less of it you'll feel in your own internal fabric, okay? If you want to stay out of the muddy waters, please make sure that you tiptoe on how they feel based off of their vision of the past, right? Could not even be with you, could be with somebody else or an experience that they've had in another scenario, in another circumstance. But please keep in mind that it does play out still because we are all connected, right? Thank you so much for sharing time and space with me, Cancer. Your reading was really quick, but this is for the April 2023. We'll check back in for your mid-April reading. Until then, take care of yourselves. I love you all so, so much. Bye.